thinking I'm too busy yeah, yeah, Trying yeah, to waste yeah, some time yeah, 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 Watch yeah, every yeah, show yeah, Don't know yeah, where to go yeah, yeah, Which time will go yeah, by yeah, yeah, I mean I have a suggestion yeah, 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 Do whatever yeah, yeah, you want with it yeah, 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 It's yeah, not your yeah, first But it's not yeah, your last yeah, You're sick of yeah, every yeah, podcast yeah, yeah. You're sick of favorite podcast The show that is just for you yeah, What's up, y'all, and welcome to your second favorite podcast. I'm your host, Nico, and I'm with my lovely co-host, Miss Jada. Hey. How you doing, my love? What's going down? Sorry. Don't be looking. It was an accident. I didn't even have a look. I just looked at you. You was like, no, it's all falling down. Run the film. Anyways. Um... You said, how am I doing? I'm doing fine. I'm doing fine. I'm doing fine. Mm. Trying to figure out my life's next scopes, you know, just like everybody else. Yeah, we we're we're here back off of a high hiatus. Yep. But you want to give me a commitment that we're going to do this thing together? All right. That was Jada's verbal commitment. that We got to do this thing. <laughs> Um, every Tuesday on the JCMN Network. Every Tuesday. <laughs> You're not even home <laughs> until 5. We can always bust one out. All right. We could try. Let's just try. It takes him 45 minutes just to I, set everything first of up. All, but I sure. might not do this strategic setup all the time. Yeah. But it is a good, decent setup for the most part. Um, it gets the nice little look. If I had a camera that matched... We could get the same look and color science. Am I supposed to look at you or look in this camera? No, you can look at me. Okay. It, apparently, it doesn't look that crazy. If okay. You look at me. Because uh, I got it flipped, so it looks right. All right, good. If y'all watching the video version, because apparently a lot of people watch apparently, the video apparently. version more than they actually listen to me on Spotify and Apple Podcasts, which I am available on. I'm pretty sure you're probably listening to it on there. But I can be on your commute to work or... You know, you getting ready for your stay at home job. Your private dance. So it's up to you on that one. But uh I am here. But how you been, babe? I already said it. How you been, Nicholas? I've been great. <laughs> no one ever asked me how I've been. <laughs> Say no one and then who just asked? Just now. After me. No one's there for me. Who just tried to be there for I'm you? I'm just saying. I've been great, you know? Um I've been going through a lot of uh self-evaluation moments it's hard it's my normal state but i really have you know been taken back of my growth you know yeah so uh it's been real nice to say i've grown as far as you know me Mm -hmm. maturity technology all in the same category and uh it's nice to say that you know i I've, I've, I'm accomplished. I've, I'm, I'm, I'm in the process <laughs> of an accomplishment. One day I'll be holding up my Nickelodeon Kids Choice Awards, and y'all gonna that he got from eBay that he spent hey, first two million dollars on. First of all, it would be straight from Nickelodeon themselves that I have to pay. You think they really to gonna get. do it? Some point. You think they still gonna keep it going? Oh yeah. Okay. I hope so. If not, I will be the reason why it comes back. Okay. And we'll, we'll boost it back up. It, you're going to be the reason why it comes back and they give you the first award. Yep. That's funny. I'm gonna be, the first award we're going to give out is <laughs> the host of this year's <laughs> goes to <laughs> me. Then they do a whole ceremony. Confetti comes. Confetti. Uh, com- I don't know why I'm mad. It's, it's not syllables. supposed to be confetti. It's supposed to be slime. Well, confetti will come down first and then they'll throw a bunch of slime at me and then the whole time the joke is me trying to get the blimp mm-hmm. or trying to find a way to award myself mm-hmm. um and then at the end they actually give me an award if y'all see this calendar in the background we don't have the wrong date that's just my birthday and i just left it there you cannot see the calendar in the background oh you can't no. okay <laughs> i didn't know how far you saw i'm sorry all right sidebar yeah it's fine it only stops at that arm 
Oh, good. Yeah. Anyways, um, speaking of birthdays, Nicholas's birthday is coming up in December. December to remember. Dun, dun, dun. And he said that his love language is affection and he just rather do some cool stuff with just me and me <laughs> and me. Nobody else, just me. Okay. So I just want y'all to reflect on that. What do you really want? I want for your y'all to think about Yes, it's what a Nick podcast. Wants. No. <laughs> Ew. I really want y'all to reflect on that one right there. Y'all reflect on what you like for your birthday. Because I thought it was like, we got to go out. We got to do some things that he likes to do. But nope. He said, I will just rather do nothing. <laughs> I say I definitely don't want to work yeah. on my birthday. Um, I mean, I wouldn't consider this working. But like actually physically going to my job. Now that would be annoying. But... I don't really think about my birthday as something to be like. It feels weird to have an input mm-hmm. on what to do. Now, granted, if there's somewhere I want to go, fine. But to be like, what do you want to do? It's like nothing. I rather I don't I don't mind it. I don't mind just chilling on my birthday. Speaking of which, what's the plan for the holidays for us? Don't even know. Yeah. I'm really trying to wrap my head around people that travel for Christmas. It sounds oh, really. fun, but it has to my my thing it would have to be very on theme. Like we go to a snow uh snow retreat or mm-hmm. snowboarding or whatever. It has to, it feels like it has to be festive in that regard. Yeah. Or maybe it's a Christmas event. There's like a Christmas tree lighting somewhere or you know, and that's not really the whole reason why we went there. It's like shops and stuff. But then I'm like, all the things I want to buy, I want to have in my house. <laughs> There's um, always one at the Rockefeller Center. In New York? In New York City. Sounds like the most congested time to go. It is, but it's fun. Okay. If that's fun. I want to just chill. I want to go to I want to go to a small town. So they could kill us both? Texas Chainsaw Massacre style. Wow. I don't see how immediately I have an <laughs> idea that goes to crisis. Mm. I mean, granted, you know, that'd be a cool movie, Small Town. I know. <laughs> and I constantly think about that. Like, good when you go movie? down a forest. Yeah, that is a cool name, Small Town. Um, <laughs> like, you go into, like, say people driving, and you didn't. You follow on a GPS and the GPS takes you down a dirt road. And I just constantly think, what if this is my movie moment where Jeepers Creepers just comes, takes me away. Take me away. Jeepers Creepers, though? He's my most feared, so. Yeah. Oh, really? I didn't know that. Because if a clown comes, I'm not about to be scared. You know, all those trans clowns were coming in the middle of nowhere. Yeah. I wouldn't be scared. Yeah. That yep. clown bleeds just like me. Jeepers Creepers does not. <laughs> oh yeah, I never just I never liked the fact that he flew. Yeah. Yeah, that that kind of terrified me because it was like he would drive for some reason, but then he has a uh, all this wings. Yeah. That I think he probably developed as much as he consumed, but I'm like, who did he consume to get wings? A just, bat. I don't even know. Who knows? I don't know. Jeepers He's Creepers. A bat Where'd you get those wings? Speaking of which, the new one came out. Ugh. Cost like seven dollars to get online, but I heard it's bad. Um Yeah, you saw that it had a zero percent on the audience rating. Yeah, and we recently just saw Halloween ends. We're not gonna give any spoilers, but you know, don't <laughs> expect too much, you know. Just know it ended. Yeah. <laughs> it ends. It's so sad. Because uh I had a conversation with someone at work and it was like, you know, there's not a lot of new things being, you know, being produced. First of all, when I hear that, my immediate thought is um, the people that you're talking about are the same people that have been in the business for years. Right. It ain't us. It ain't like it's my generation that just won't make something new. Granted, probably we will be the reason why. We will be the be remaking things because we'll like to see it in a way that we want to do it mm-hmm. or the way that, you know, just putting ourselves a part of it. But the same people that made those movies is still 
running I got, those I got studios. An idea. That's huh? true. I got an idea. Put, give me a pitch of a new movie that you would do based upon what you like. What's the question? <laughs> I got lost. I, I thought I knew what you said, but then I didn't. Pitch me a movie that you like. A new one. Pitch a new Something movie? that's never been done. Or not even never, just like a concept that oh. is new. I would love to do a Christmas movie. Um, I will. I I think I would do. I would take. I would do it like early two thousands. So I'm not really limited. You can't go back in time. You talking about the setting of the movie? Yes, okay. the setting of the movies early two thousands. Okay. Um, and let's just say it's just like the new PlayStation Two, mm-hmm. and you got this kid that or. Yeah, you got this kid that just wants this console. Mm-hmm. Um, and then, like, maybe up to that moment, mm-hmm. all his friends had it. But since, like, or maybe I have to use an Xbox, but you would need a system to be able to play online. Mm-hmm. And it's just a, an adventure, jingle all the way concept. But it's just, just, first of all, no studio needs to hear a concept and go, oh, it's like jingle all the way. Why don't we just do a jingle all the way three? No, stop. Whoa. Oh. I don't want that. <laughs> I just want. I never seen that movie. I love that movie. So you want to make an early two thousands Christmas movie about the spirit of Christmas, family yeah. Christmas. Yeah, like maybe the moral of it. Um, I guess the maybe the moral of it because what what Christmas feels like to me is always just being around my family. It's not really about the gift. But okay. sometimes I take this time to get something I've always wanted. And then maybe it's like this 10, 8-year-old kid yeah. trying to na- trying to figure out how could he sway his parents to get this or trying to find this store that is still selling it. And now, you know what? Maybe I won't do early 2000s because I kind of wanted to be like a little bit online mm-hmm. where it's like it's sold out. Now, it goes back to people having to go there physically. Right. And it's not too off base where it feels like, oh, well, they could have just ordered that. But it's like, no, they keep being sold out. But they do like raffles and stuff. I don't know. It's a little bit scattered. It is. So um, it would it would be called Arcademus. Arcade. It's like chaos. Arcade. Mm-hmm. Well, working, working title in progress. <laughs> If you ever do a movie and you got to pitch it, just let me help you because you suck at telling stories. Mm-mm. You go if I gave you a people. title, if I gave you an actual movie that I was, I've been thinking about, oh. then sure, I, I'll well, run with that I one. I think that's what's crazy about me. I can do stuff off the spot. Okay. Anything? Yeah. I okay. had a whole. I was trying to pitch me a Halloween movie. No, no, I want to. No, I want to do my own thing that's, first. That's, I'll, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> You're supposed to pitch you something right on the spot, right there. That was the challenge. Well, okay, I'll get to that. No, Let's get to something. I'll think, think of something, something else. else. But I want to do my whole my new movie that I wanted to pitch. Okay, so it would be a romance movie, but a horror movie, and you don't even know it's a horror movie. Well, obviously, because when you get to the credits, but. I mean, not the credits, the uh, advertisement of it all, but it's like the genuine combination of J-Lo romance, because I like her so much, her romance movies for some reason, and just dark horror coming together. So in the beginning, it's like this lonely girl all by herself, wondering when she going to get a man. This man comes out of nowhere, and... They have difficulties at first, but then they fall in love, and then they move in together, and then boom, there comes the drama. I don't know what kind of horror it is. I want to say something like, ooh, like a, a Cupid demon or something that like kills people who fall in love. So it's supernatural? Yeah. Okay. Something it ha- To me, things are only scary if I can't control them. So like superhuman people. That doesn't scare me. But, yeah, supernatural <laughs> stuff that you can't kill. But it has to have a cool story. Like, the Cupid Man came from the ancient times and 
only the daughter of such and such can re- <laughs> recreate him. Like, it got to be like some Indiana Jones type stuff where you think about it. That is a funny thing to reach for right there. Does it, I don't even watch his movies. Do Indiana, Jones, <laughs> Indiana Jones movies. Don't you got to like, you don't get anything until the end. Or no, National Treasure. That's what I'm thinking about. That guy. <laughs> what's that man's name? His name is Nicolas Cage. Yeah. His name is his movies. Yeah. His movies. Uh, yeah. Uh, okay. But yeah, that would be cool. But so what's your Whenever pitch? you you uh pitch a movie to a studio, you need to let me let me tell you first. No, mine was good. <laughs> that was convoluted. I don't know what that word means. Too much. It was It's old. not too much. It's romance in the beginning to throw you off horror and then you always gotta have a backstory of how the horror happened because everybody knows jeepers creepers comes don't know where he came from but then he's just a bat demon that nobody needs to know but i like giving people like this is the backstory of the entity the horror entity and why is he attacking these people specifically like that's what pisses me off is like where the hell has that man been and why he just messing with that girl now? It's because they got together. It's all like out of not destiny, but out of the cosmics of them getting together, and not just some random other girl. It kind of makes me think of how life easily could be adjusted, but things happen the way it's supposed to happen. So it's a complex thing, but it's all easy to understand. I will I will definitely like to see someone tackle that. Somebody steal my ish and don't give me no money. I'm gonna come for you. I'm gonna be like Soulja Boy, I was the first. Anyways, what's your pitch to me? Okay. Um a romantic comedy St. Patrick's Day. I hate rom coms, but so, ooh, 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 that's good. So it would be two immigrant Irish families who hated each other, and then there, whatever tragedy happens in Ireland, Ireland um, <laughs> some tragedy happens, and the two families end up having to come to America together who hated each other. They end up having to come to America together, and in America they're friends, but when their kids grow up, they love each other, but... In that aspect of them growing up, the kids end up hating each other after like a bad breakup. So the families separate again and then find their ways back to each other on St. Patrick's Day. I think that's, uh, what's it called? Prejudice? I think I was going to say discriminatory. Is because is St. Patrick's Day really an Irish thing? I don't know. Oh, uh, I mean, I don't know. I'm sorry if it is. I don't know. <laughs> I'm ignorant to that. Because I've heard some things like people celebrate St. Patrick's Day for the wrong reasons and so on and so forth. Oh, yeah. Um, I mean, the if you can mix in maybe what it really stood for yeah, and all this other that, stuff. Yeah, the sure. representation of that. I think the base of the story was kind of what it was. It didn't really need to be about, it just so happened to be St. Patrick's Day. Yeah. Okay. Um, But yeah, that was cool. Sure. It's cool. It's great, baby. I'm glad you could do this thing. Yeah. Okay. I got ideas. Okay. Well, we got another one now. Another what? Another another one. Fourth of July. Horror film. Without being problematic. Ooh. I gotta give, I gotta say people's race. <laughs> I gotta I gotta because it gives you a nice little flavor. Say without being problematic. I I gotta say people's race though. <laughs> a woman from Brazil, a man from Haiti, and a girl from Japan all meet in college and you said horror? Okay, so on the college campus. Yeah, they're all on the college, college campus. I'm going to say they're like 22. And they live together on campus. And they're having their first hot July 4th party. Um. So they're in the summer semester. Huh? I said. They- no, they, when you still live on campus, 
You just live on campus. Yeah, I'm just curious. No, it's not their summer semester. Okay. Well, yes, they are off for the summer. They're not going to school. Okay. If that makes sense. And they're having a first July 4th party because they're not going with their families. They come to be together. And the horror is going to be... Hmm. That's problematic. See? Let me not say that. <laughs> yeah, <I knew laughs> Let me not say that. Um, it needs to be marketable. You already kind of just randomly made it a mixing pot Ooh, here. I'm going to just say a long lost relative of one of them. I don't care who. Long lost relative of one of the friends comes in and says that he has been traveling the world for music, but really been in a mental institution. Mental institution. And this has to be back when mental institutions were like bad and like rich people didn't tell people that they sent their kids to mental institution but they were still like unhealthy do you know something about that well like why i have never heard of that so i'm like is that something now yeah i was watching it on in some documentary okay they were talking about how rich people would send their kids off when they were mentally ill yeah. it was like in the 50s or 60s they would send their kids off who were mentally ill and tell people they went to like a boarding school or something okay um but that idea and the girl, whoever, they don't contact their parents. Like, they don't confirm ha have they been gone and whatever. So uh, and so I said they're, like, 22. So the siblings are a little, old, a little younger. We're going to say, like, 18. Just left home at 18. And the reason why he was in the mental institution is because he used to kill cats. Now, everybody know that <laughs> when you... Everybody knows that when you kill animals at a young age, that's, like, prone to be a sociopath. Okay. Um. So... Man gets out, tries to go find his sibling, and then says, hey, let me come to the party and let me stay here for a few days until da 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 Ends up killing them all July 4th and everybody at the party. No, 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 not everybody at the party. Kind of like a scream vibe. So everybody's at the party and don't see anybody dying. People are just dead in the back rooms. And then he just says a maniac came and tried to rob everybody because they had money. And then he gets away with it. Mm. Okay, okay. First off, why the nationality specifically? Because I want diversity. Okay, just that's that's just your diversity yeah. account. They don't really add diversity. to a story. I want the Haitian okay. accent, the Japanese accent. What was the other person I said? Brazil, yeah, with the Brazilian accent. I want them hard accents Portuguese. trying to figure out what's going down. Um in America. Cause that's what America is. Hard accents in drama. <laughs> this is a great movie. What are they? <laughs> I love how that's. The I great. didn't want to pick which one. Like, oh, you trying to say a Japanese girl got a crazy brother? Nah, I'm just gonna I roll the that. dice and see who's who. I don't. I don't know where this is coming from. That's why I don't get it. But hey, it's all coming from my creativity. Yeah. Yeah. You need help making a movie? Let me know. Mm. I got it. It's. It feels like. The equivalent of like just throw in puzzles, and I'm saying multiple puzzles. Yeah, and going well, this one kind of fits, yeah. right? It's I like, can make it make sense. <laughs> like, Maybe if I cut off the top and force it in there, it'll work. It's like this one is a landscape and a portrait. I don't. They're not even matching this. They're not even the same color. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, man. That's a that's a lot. But hey, there's there's ideas out there that Every I feel movie that way. is a lot. A lot of movies that you either like or you just keep showing me feel like that. Yeah. So maybe that's just your jam. Jam. You like a little peanut butter little jelly. Little jam. Jars jam. of without them being separate. City jam for without me, them making yeah. any sense. Mm-hmm. So yeah, there we go. We got a couple movies out there for y'all if y'all need it. Fund me, yeah. Yeah, go fund us. Get Michael movie. Bay on there. I need him. First of all, <laughs> I don't know what he has done, but a Michael Bay horror film? Yeah, Is that serious? Especially for my Cupid idea. I need him to do the effects. Like He don't do that. <laughs> like all that I mean, maybe stuff. he direct it and make it. It wouldn't yeah. be like a dead baby. It would be like an old zombie Cupid. Well, he always does this little. Wearing like a red outfit. Panning thing. What, what, yeah. what scene would that be? Describe that All scene. All the murder scenes. 
every where, scene. Where he like <laughs> going oh like panning through the hallway watching him like Is it Michael Bay in the movie? No. Michael Bay needs to star in his own movie. <laughs> no. Michael Bay in Michael Bay. And whoever did the costumes for Chucky, they did good. Like the dolls? Yeah. Mm. Okay. And whoever did the makeup for Jeepers Creepers, the first one, I the feel, rest of them look trash. I feel like there needs to be a studio in this world that can afford to make your ideas. Yeah. And no, you know, everything is cheaper when it's dark. So I need some stuff in the daytime just for the aesthetics. Todd of stuff in the dark. Yeah, Midsummer does their little daylight horror. Yeah, I was there. Yeah, I think that's a... I didn't even know that that wasn't a thing. I do notice that in most cases, horror films are darker. But yeah. daylight horror, I didn't know that was like a subgenre. You know, I think America and most Asian films like to do dark mm-hmm. lighting. But everybody else is kind of like, no, we'll do this in the daytime. I think... Um, it depends on what the story is. Like Midsummer, yeah, it definitely does. It's like a perfect. It makes sense to be during the day. Mm-hmm. But if you got your, you know, like Invisible Man, it's 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 kind of daunting for things to happen during the day. And I'm sure that that whole movie could have been during the day, but those nighttime scenes really make it more like, ooh, what is it? Is she really tripping? <laughs> Spoiler. <laughs> I thought she was tripping for a while in that movie. Yeah, I, did I was not convinced. Believe her. <laughs> I was convinced. I don't know what what made me think of like there is a version of a movie like that that we really don't know if she's tripping or not. But like not her in general, but I'm just saying like a movie where someone thinks she they're seeing someone and they they're really not or it's them the whole time type thing. Yeah. Um A Beautiful Mind was like that. I can't remember that movie. But um, I believe that it existed, and that's why I'm thinking that when I saw it. Huh? Was this no. One? Neither one was cutting off because uh, technically it's just capturing what it's seeing. Okay. So I can just, it just. Oh, continues. it's not recording anymore? No, these are not recording. I'm recording off my computer. That's cool. Yeah. And now, Sorry, I didn't mean to cut him off, but I wanted to make sure like nothing was going to cut off on us. Because, no. you know, if y'all remember, it used to like go out on us. Yeah. And the only reason why that one would ever go through a certain mode is if it didn't have an SD card in it. But other than that, technically, this is continuous recording. That's awesome. So. Okay. But, yeah, I do think that there needs to be more daylight horror. Yeah. I'm the most terrifying things for me is real life. Yeah. So. That's why I love when it's real. Even if it's, like, things that we can't just like things we can't describe or things we don't know. Yeah. It's a possibility that can happen. Yeah. I especially I think uh, like cult like topics. Mm-hmm. Like imagining a world where people are falling into this cult and you're thinking you know who who's dumb enough to follow this. Yeah. And it gets to a point you're in the minority. That's daunting. You are not a tree, you can move. Yeah. And essentially you you, you <laughs> You have to go through the mindset of this character feeling like, yeah, I need to be careful because or I have to play along now because if I start showing that I'm out of the norm or out of this loop, you know, I could die. Those those kind of concepts make me go, how do I how do I get out of that? And how scary would be or make you feel like there's no there's no choice. Yeah. So that's that's scary. Being stuck. Yeah. Coming out in theaters now, claustrophobia. Yeah, I need to think of names for those movies. Which one? All of those that I just pitched. Um, your your uh, Cupid one is uh, love love fall in love. Love Jones. No, <laughs> that movie is <laughs> not. <laughs> not that great. is not a good movie, y'all. And I don't, I, I don't know anyone that's like, that's a good movie. I hear more people say, you haven't seen it? It's like classic. Yeah, they just haven't. You're just surprised you haven't seen the movie. Less than it's like a following to it. Yeah, because 
him even doing poetry is just like what? Yeah. Why? I yeah. And and I would say that it did the movie itself capture a theme of being a poet a poetry poem. So I get that. It does feel like Oh, the movie's watching. supposed to be a poem? I'm assuming that that was the theme. I thought that's what Poetic Justice was supposed to be about. Okay. That makes sense. I can't explain it because I can't think about the movie itself. But Love Jones feels like it's supposed to be homage to that lifestyle of... He's using all these big college words. I don't know. <laughs> right. That's cool. Something like that. So I get that. But... Just, just wasn't hitting on nothing. It's just it's unnecessarily long. It feels like it's two different movies. Part one, part two. MS. Um, have we seen anything recently? I watched Barbarian and it was pretty good. Nicholas was sleeping. I'm trying to get him to watch it again. But that was a good movie. I'm going to watch the back of my eyes again. Mm-hmm. Um, we're going to watch Black Panther on Sunday. Mm -hmm. next week and i kind of don't want to go in nobody's theater because they be hyping it up mm -hmm. i like to be away from the hype y'all know about that you all know <laughs> about us already if you not if you don't know go back to the previous episode when we went to go see black panther in theaters yeah. previously it's almost like we kind of have to do another episode of it because that was the only movie we dedicated we a sure whole did episode about. <laughs> and i'm like why did we do that it was because it was something to talk about and it was yeah. something that was I mean, I was excited for it. Was heavy. Yeah. So, um, when X Men goes into the the MCU, I'm definitely gonna be hype about that because they they better do it right. Because I do not like the X Men New Generation movie. I don't yeah. like that at all. It's sad because it it definitely had some potential. Yes, but yeah, it it wasn't supported well and not executed well. So, right. Hopefully, we will see a nice little a blend of it. Because if they make the X-Men are part of the MCU where they're fighting villains and not other effing mutants. <laughs> that would make my life feel great. Yeah. I'm, well, I'm not against that. I'm just, I just want to care about them. But the thing that scares me about X-Men coming into the MCU is it's the X-Men. That character, that, that many, that many characters is equivalent to how many characters are in the MCU. Yeah. That's a lot to introduce. Yeah, it is. And right now, I'm feeling lost, even though I'm caught up in a way. Yeah. So many characters that have been just introduced to me, yeah. and I'm kind of going, okay, what part am I supposed to care about? When am I supposed to see, you know... Oh, yeah, because they're kind of making the multiverses thing. Yeah. So it's like, what... Like, who's going to show up again? Like, yeah. And, like, Thor, if you think about, like, Thor and Hulk, had their time where they was off screen for a bit. Yeah. And then they came back at the end and that was fine. But at the time when those movies were releasing, it was weird to see Civil War, not see Hulk or Thor. And it was like, oh, okay, that's, that's interesting. But, oh, here's Spider-Man. Okay, cool. But I guess you couldn't put them all on the same screen at the same time. It would have been too much. Um, well, now, because of the Doctor Strange multiverse of madness, we can hope that that's where they've been and they kind of just, uh, I want to say, put a wormhole mm -hmm. into somebody's universe. Yeah. So some mutants got in and so now they're permanently in that universe. Yeah. So that's what they could do like temporarily, not temporarily, but just have a limited amount of X-Men and they're still the X-Men and they're like, okay, there's no mutants in this world, but we got each other. Right. Do like the Fantastic Five or something. Don't need don't need to change the number of them. <laughs> Just I need an odd number because <laughs> one of them is definitely going to go be with a, a normal human. What Fantastic Four people? No, the X Men. It's going to be five of them. So you saying in the Fantastic Five there is no Fantastic Four member? No, I was just using the name. Okay, that's that's already confusing. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Here's the Fantastic Five. It's like. Huh? <laughs> the X-Men. They're five. all X-Men. <laughs> yeah. They already have a name. <laughs> <laughs> Why would you redo it? <laughs> um I'm you know what? I am excited to see how they're introduced. Even if that's they've been this for so long or they've been here, whatever. Right. Um, 
But I feel like the, the, the sad part is I can't enjoy certain things at face value because it's supposed to lead up to – it's almost like watching multiple Infinity Wars. Yeah. They're all supposed to lead to Endgame. I hate it. And I can't think – I because Iron, the Iron Man movies – even in Avenger movies, they set up the next thing, but you can watch most of the Avenger movies at face value. You can watch Iron Man face value. You don't really need to watch the other ones. You watch it now looking back and then it leads up because yeah. they'll reference things and it's like, oh, it's a callback. Yeah. But like even like Thor Ragnarok, it, it did set up, you know, Infinity War in a yeah. way, but you didn't have to watch yeah, it. Yeah, I didn't Just have to watch see it. random people on a ship. Yeah, and it was cool, but, you know, I could kind of say I can I enjoyed that movie by itself. But I'm watching, like, Hawkeye, the show, and I'm like, okay, cool, now I'm introduced to this character. And, yeah, that's the other thing. I don't want to be lost when this movie come out because I didn't watch the damn show. Yeah, and I think a lot of people missed out on uh, Falcon and the Winter Soldier. Because some things people were asking questions about, not people, but, like, people I was talking to. And I'm like, did you watch Falcon and the Winter Soldier? What like, are they asking? Um, just about who's Cap, where happened to Cap. And Falcon and Winter Soldier answers that? He, they talk about exactly what the mantle of Captain America is. No, we don't figure out where Captain America himself is, where Steve Rogers is at. But we see where the mantle of Captain America goes to and what Bucky's doing and what he's going through. Oh, yeah, because in She-Hulk, they start talking about how America, Captain America's technically dead or that Captain America is no yeah. longer in there. Yeah, Steve Rogers I, is dead. Yeah. But theorists or fans are under the impression that he's not. He's just somewhere else. What? Because he, at the end of Endgame, he just gives <laughs> oh, he's the just shield. Man. He's just an old man. And he's still got some years left. <laughs> it's not like he was going to immediately die, but yeah. he is a lot older than, you know, he should be, I guess. But okay. um, he's probably up there in the ship with uh, Nick Fury. So they go to Havana. What's it called? Um, he can't go there. Yeah, I know. Uh, uh, Never do Leo. One of those. <laughs> One of those places. Uh, that word sounds made up. Uh, All words are made up. How mm. Mm. I can't hear no one say it now. And then we're gonna go back and listen to it and be like, ah, there yeah. it is. Or immediately think about it. Yeah. Huh. I don't know. Y'all need to let us know. I forgot. Let us know in the comments below. Pretty sure by that time we'll know. Mm-hmm. Val Valhalla. Val Val Valhalla. Val Valhalla. You got it. You got it. You got it. <laughs> don't struggle. There we go. That's Appreciate new, it, y'all. That's our new daughter's name. Oh, can't even say it. <laughs> no, because isn't it supposed to be hell? It's supposed to be heaven. Heaven backwards? No. That's Navan. That's Nova. Nevea. Na- Nevea. No, it's Valhalla. <laughs> Valhalla. <laughs> Whatever. So I don't know, man. I I hope it is. You know, it's I've, gonna be interesting. I'm pretty sure that I've talked about it on an episode or two about this, but it's sad. Did I say Black Panther 2? Is that technically what the movie's called? Because I've been seeing Wakanda forever That's now. what it's called. Black Panther, Wakanda forever. Okay. Because I feel like I've been seeing Wakanda more than I've seen the actual Black Panther scene. Yeah, Black Panther scene. I mean, name. But that's cool, too, because it's like, I think, well, let's say, too, Black Panther was another movie where I could watch that face value, and I'm yeah. satisfied. Um, but... I think Wakanda Forever, Wakanda Forever is going to be one of those other movies that probably is going to feel like I could watch this movie and not feel like empty because it's leading up something else. Mm-hmm. Well, I need to be like, oh my God, what, who's, what's next? Except for who takes the mantle. Yeah. Um, you know, spoiler alert, I guess. You see that she, it's, a, it's a woman in the suit. Yeah, you definitely saw boobs. Yeah. I'm thinking. I don't want to assume it's his sister. It, so like she's second on my list and first it was your girl i forgot her name um the one he the love interest yeah yeah so i think it might be her for a short period but whoever it is is not going to be it yeah no so it's definitely a temporary thing right and i i hope 
there's a Killmonger reveal. <laughs> I hope so. Because too. that's been my only one yeah. that I've been really like. Michael, the- you better get that Disney money. <laughs> Come back in there. Um, not after him doing Creed three, and I love the I love the uh, art of him and um, Kane the Conqueror. Mm-hmm. And it's just like Killmonger and Kane the Conqueror <laughs> fighting in the ring. Meet again. Yeah. So I hope so. I hope it's good. I know that movie's gonna be great. No matter. It'd be weird to watch that movie and be like, I don't know. That movie wasn't really hitting on. That. Yeah. <laughs> Cause it's, it's, Cause it's like the hype of it all. It gets disappointing. I have like, seen way too many little interviews, and not to say that they were pointless. It just, you know, I hope it doesn't take away from the experience, mm-hmm. and then also, you know, don't make you feel like it was a good movie. And that was it. Yeah. Like, I want to be like, oh, that was that was a great movie. <laughs> yeah. That's how I felt about Coming to America. It was all hyped up. And then, oh, that movie. Womp, womp. And you know what they did to satisfy us? They gave us Incredibles 2. <laughs> <laughs> and Toy Story 4. I I definitely think that freaking Coming to America. That could have been better. That was, they was all yeah, old. That was so. a miss. It was a huge miss. I don't know. And it could have been fine. Literally, just just first of all, the 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 plot. Ugh. Yeah. But you know, it could have been better. It could have been. They could have made it better by saying like his daughter married some man, and like his daughter's getting older, and she decides to go do what he did, and so do it on a female perspective. I think that would have been more fun. And instead of going to New York, go. To, it's the first time I'll ever say this. <laughs> I'm not saying it again. Go to Atlanta. Hey. And get her a rapper. Oh, gosh. Yeah. Get dark. Uh, I get mean, a yes. In a world, there is a script that her going to America is interesting because women dating. Yeah. Is it's tough. And she go through it. And you got a lot of things. And then. What do we say? Maybe at the end she just becomes queen. And she yeah, don't really and find she just anybody. Gets, nope. Yep. Or does she don't find, date nobody? Yep. Like she just finds herself. Yeah. And it, it has to convince her dad that she can do it by herself. She don't need no man. It feels like isn't that pointless though? No, it's very because character building. And then, and then she could have made her own. I guess I don't. I don't know. I would have probably been tired of it, but she could have made some more. Yeah. Yeah. With her falling in love, I don't. Well, I, once again, this that it's not bad. It's not a bad idea. Yeah. I think I don't know how to execute that one, but it is interesting. Again, don't this steal just, my stuff. What this episode is more about making movies. Yeah, movie maker. Is that what you want to call it? Movie yeah. maker. Yeah. I could change the title live here right now. What was the title? I said, we back. Who's this? That was cute, though. So what you want to do? I want Movie Maker. I'm going to do Movie Maker. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to do it. <laughs> Welcome back to the movies. Hey! That was a good... Sorry, is that loud? I'm so it sorry, was. y'all. I'm so sorry. It was. But welcome back to the movies because COVID is over, allegedly, wow. but y'all are still getting monkeypox. What is happening? I let you run the show for like a quick second. And you immediately <laughs> you get let crazy. Let me run the show. I try to. Ain't nobody getting monkeypox. I'm just playing. Mm. I ain't get it. Thank goodness. And I was scared because I was working at somebody register, and I was like, you know what? I'm a little scared. There you go. Updated it live right there. Um. Yeah. It's been a good conversation. I was kind of worried that we weren't going to find nothing to talk about. I always find stuff to talk about. We always find something to talk about. See, she don't even talk about we. Yes, man. <laughs> me. I do it. I it's am the me. best. Me. All right, Nikki, All take right. us home. Really? Oh, okay. That's fine, though. I get it, though. It's been a minute, but, you know, we got to cut it a little, a little tiny. It's been so long. It's been long. I appreciate it, y'all. Um, sorry for the wait, too. I think I did a title like that. Um, but I greatly appreciate it. 
Um, I hope y'all enjoyed this episode. And if y'all did, be sure to leave us a five star rating on Apple Podcasts. They're greatly appreciated. Um, follow us on Spotify. Follow us anywhere you can. Subscribe to the channel, to the JCMN Network YouTube channel. If you're into gaming, we got JCMN Arcade as well. Um, so do that. Support your boy. Um, be on the lookout for more episodes. I'm working on a lot of projects, and I'll announce them as they go. So I greatly appreciate y'all. Anything else you want to say, my love? If you like this video, be sure to leave a like, comment, share, and subscribe. And we will see you next time. Bye-bye.